WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update, we got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix coming from the Dow and the New York Stock Exchange. They're both up just slightly. The S&P is down slightly. It's off about five points. That's about one-tenth percent. One -tenth percent. NASDAQ, a 100 different story, down seven-tenths, trading down 86 points at 12,294. The Russell's off four. Uh, the semis are down one and six tenths percent. That's 50 points. Gold is off seven bucks. Silver's down eight cents. Lights be crude, trading out at 79.39. That's up a buck 31. Natural gas is up three cents at 246. And the 30 year treasury printing out at 127.04. That is back 24 ticks. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. We'll just simply expand out the chart. What we know right now is that price is just simply consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's a bullish structured profile. The support range here is between 4027 and 4067. So far, that is held. We'll have to take a look at the intraday charts uh, during the Trader's Ed show to see if we can figure out anything else. Well, part of the anything else, though, is the spot volatility index, which right now is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day printing at 2083 right now, price at 2121, 2128. A close above the 50-day, and that's 28. 2083, that would signal that sellers are the ones that have control of the ball. If we take a look at the NQ, she right now is trading back below the top of its daily profile. That's at 12,408. Your price closes under 12,408. It could be signaling to you and I moved 11,975 to 12,083. If we take a look at that US dollar index, maybe this will factor in to what the equity markets are going to do. Right now, you've got price ten, uh, testing trend line as well as profile resistance. I'd say the real key level out here is 103.53. Price doesn't close above that. Well, we just have a little consolidation between 102.58 and 103.53. If we take a look at Goldilocks, it has support at the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at 1868.60. A close below that today would suggest lower price. In the case of silver, it's going to complete a TD9 count bottom today. At present, the low is 21.83. It will be the low at the end of the day. That's the one that's most important. Whatever that low is, and right now it's 2183, if price closes below that, that'll negate that signal. Oh no, that'll become the new threshold level. Today should complete that TD9 count pattern. If we take a look at Lights Week Crew, just a consolidation, ran into res uh, resistance at the top of its profile. That's at 80.43. And if we take a look at natural gas, still waiting for a bullish reversal candle to confirm an A to B equals CD down pattern out there. And a 30 year treasury sitting at support. That's at the 127 even Steven level. That's the bottom of its daily profile. Folks, if you're off to start your Friday and your weekend, have a fabulous one. Otherwise, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. We'll be up in just a few. Take care. Safe.